my original thinking with this metal stand was to put two cinder blocks under it for backup if the metal stand part fails the height of the cinder blocks is what I use to get it at this height but after it was done at some point I learned that the strongest orientation for the cinder blocks is holes up and what I had made here was holes on the side and I needed this to be the strongest also with this metal stand I noticed that the weight of the water heater will be on these points of the metal feet and not flush uh, the, the full length of the metal feet so that can't be good it looks okay there but um, so I could put some shims under under them like plastic composite but would that really do much as far as supporting the water heater? Probably not much. Yeah, you can see it there a little. So these are a couple more reasons why I think that an all cinder block stand is a better way to go. So I'll use this metal stand for something else, like, like to keep the miter saw off the ground. So with my current water heater cinder blocks, um, this was my initial attempt at using cinder blocks, and I didn't have the concept of distribution of weight. So fortunately the cinder blocks, they are strong and heavy and there hasn't been any problem even though it has gone through a couple of 4.0 earthquakes which is just like having a rumbling sound go through your place. So the way this, this thing got made was that I had these 3 quarter inch wood spacers in there on the bottom which made it look secure when they're in place. That's this thing here. Okay, but this is an illusion, so... So my thinking was that I needed to leave some space there to spray bleach and water after the next flood. I think the holes on the side, they are not a, they are not a problem with the furnace though. Mm, because it's light. The other problem here though is that this is apparently not to code. And if I had a problem, the insurance would not pay. So this is something to think about when the furnace has to be replaced at some point in the future. Would the water heater be considered not to code? Probably, so what's the answer there? So it would be my metal stand. Um, I still think center blocks under it are a good idea for that. So I would make it to the height of uh, holes up with a, with a solid starter on top. But then you run into the issue of how you can only probably get, uh, you can only you put one cinder block under it and one solid starter under it if you get this square type of thing that they sell. So, um, let's see, then you have to, like, you have to deal with, uh, how the, the cut of the blade needs to be, pr to be precise. If it isn't, then you get an eighth of, like, an eighth of an inch or so of distance between the, t the top of the stand and the cinder block underneath. 
Maybe you could use a layer or two of linoleum flooring on top to fill the gap. So, um, so maybe they've got, you'd have to get like a custom wider thing to get two, two center blocks under their holes up. But uh, so I still think it's good to have, have um, these um, on center blocks rather than nothing because they protect it from flooding. It gets it off the ground so spiders don't get in there as much. Being higher off the ground, moisture from the concrete floor doesn't, it doesn't make the metal rust. See that? And and then if you have it off the ground like this, you can do this with the the drip lines. So then you can have a thermal expansion valve discharge line and it'll have a place to go. How, I mean, how else could you do a, a thermal expansion valve discharge line if, if you were running it, if you're running the line to the, the drain inside like I'm doing here. So for this drain adapter I'm thinking wouldn't it be good if I didn't have to glue the these things together. Um, like the seals seem pretty good as they are, but that they are not leak proof. So could I be use something like pipe dope on the seals or, or Teflon tape? Something like pipe pipe dope would probably work better. So I Google the um, use of pipe dope. On PVC drip line, and I found some info on it at dripdepot.com. And I'll read that here in a second. I have a can of this stuff here. So, what did that this, this web page said that uh, PVC fitting connections? Schedule 40 PVC pipe does not have threaded ends. So, a uh, slip fitting is, is needed to join sections of pipe together. Slip fittings will slip right on the PVC pipe and may seem tight, but will not hold water. The connection must be sealed. For a leak-proof seal on a slip fitting, you will need both PVC primer and cement. Press that. Primer softens the inside of the fitting, preparing it to bond while the cement bonds the two pieces watertight. As an easy alternative to the hassle of primer and cement, Hydro Rain offers PVC lock fittings that are a simple push fit style that do not require gluing for a leak proof seal. Another advantage of PVCL is the, the fittings are removable and reusable. A size specific special release tool is required for removal. Okay, another alternative is to creating connections that can be taken apart is PVC threaded fittings. Keep in mind that threaded fittings are a weak point in any piping system and the working pressure is reduced by 50% when a threaded connection is used. Proper technique is required for a secure leak-proof connection. Many manufacturers have differing recommendations for using any chemical aid when joining plastic threaded components. And here's the interesting part. Chemicals such as Teflon tape and pipe dope can degrade the plastic and increase risk of premature failure. We suggest following manufacturer's recommendations. The leak-proof seal of a male and female threaded PVC connection can be made using a thread sealant compatible with the material. The sealant is applied around the, the male outside threads and then the two male-female fittings are screwed together hand tight 
than one or two more turns at most. Over tightening can cause stress cracks that will fail. So you can see, uh, you can use the pipe dope threaded fittings. With threaded fittings, you just have to make sure that they're chemically compatible. So yeah, I googled thread sealant for PVC and I see that this can of, of stuff I have says it'll work. Uh, let's see, so I'll be seeing how that works with these uh, non-threaded PVC. Um, so the thing, is, so what I'm going to do is like, these cups were kind of expensive. I think they were 20, 25 bucks. So I'll do the pipe. I'll do, I'll glue the pipe together. That's easy to redo. And I'll, I think I'll just try the pipe dope on the um, cups. I won't, I won't cement those. Then like the, let's see, the connection, oh then, yeah, like the connection out of the, out of this water heater pan. Like that thing. So that is, uh, yeah, that's just like, a, that's a rubber washer. So that doesn't seem 100% leak proof, so probably this compound probably is okay for the, the cups. So I have to see that, yeah, but like I was saying, I think my current thinking is I'll glue the pipes and I'll just see what, I'll just use pipe dope on the, the three inch cup adapters. So then they could be easily reused if some other configuration of the pipes is, is um, necessary. So that's that. And this, uh, this, uh, so, this is gonna go from the hole to the other side of this line to there. And then uh, it could probably sit like that on its own. Or I could take these things and raise it. And then if I do that, then this could be raised up a little and pulled back. And then that, in case like this thing you know, like the water jet hits that. I might have to do that. And then uh, I'm thinking just, I could get like a, a sandbag. I got like these polypropylene sandbags. So then I'll just get one of those and set it on the T. And so then the uh, T, the pipe's gonna go down here. Maybe it could be attached here, and then use a 90 there, and then in the previous video, video there's I have like a 90 that goes straight down, which is a, um, what do you call it, a shark bite. Then if there's a flood, you can just um, remove the pipe that goes down, and That seems like it'd be a good way to fix all this. So let's see. Yeah, I can't think of anything else. Uh, oh, uh, this um, this thing sometimes just goes out. I got this magnet here. I just think this this seems like it'll work. I had some tape there, but I think a magnet's better.